So we're back with another board episode review, and uh, it was something, I guess. <laughs> I feel like I say this a lot, and I do, to be honest. I say this for a lot of, I, I say this for a lot of board episodes, and I say this a lot of times for certain arcs that I just don't particularly enjoy, or are genuinely just not very entertaining. And like a lot of the character moments are just not really anything at all, and it's like. I think like the main takeaways that I, I liked about this episode were with Kajiki and the shipbuilder that we saw a couple of episodes back. Uh, I liked his standpoint on things because he's directly in the middle, right? He's one of the people who thinks that the whole thing with the with the machine to take full control over the the ocean and the seas. He thinks it's dumb and that the Mist Village shouldn't be using it and shouldn't have even created it in the first place. But he doesn't side with the Funatso either because he thinks the way that they're going about stopping this from happening is also stupid. Because having all this violence and having all this death of not only just you know the people that they're attacking but their own people as well is just senseless violence and it further ties into the idea of what Bort was trying to do and it's to stop the war. And I like how he's the one that has to do this because he's very similar to Naruto and Naruto because in Naruto ship it and he wanted to stop the war because he hated the idea that everyone was sacrificing their lives for the sake of himself because he was one of the main key factors of the turning point of the, of the war and the fact that Obito and Madara needed the power of the Nine Tails in order to create the Ten Tails so that way they can become the Ten Tails in Jerky. Uh... Bort is kind of trying to do the same thing, except it's not really about him. Obviously, of course not. Uh, it's more so just trying to stop this sense, senseless violence and stop this cycle of hatred that's going to only continue on further and further if they keep going at it at the way that they're about to. And uh, Jojo only agrees with allowing Bort to go and speak to Ikeda because he saw what Borta was able to do for Kagura. Kagura was a very messed up person before he met Borta, but Borta, once he showed up at the Mist Village for the first time, he was able to sway him down a, a better path than what he would have been in before. And he's hoping for the same thing to happen with Ikeda, but Ikeda is obviously in a state right now where he just is incredibly angry and incredibly frustrated and doesn't really want to listen to what anyone has to really say. Yeah, not even Borto, who he was really good friends with before all of the, all of this happened, and yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> uh, next episode is obviously going to be the episode where Borto confronts Ikeda and tells him like stop the war, this and that, and blah blah blah. And they're probably going to fight, but that was all I really got from the episode. It was just like those two things we got. We got to see uh, Denki and his group with Bhutan and Kyoho. Again, and it seems like they're going to be trying to catch up with the rest of the group with Mitsuki, Sarada, and Boruto, but nothing else really happened in the episode that I really liked. Uh, I guess what else happened in the episode was that, yeah, like it, obviously it was uh, fucking uh, Arayumi who decided to use uh, Isari's weapon to go after Isari to stop him, but I thought what was really weird is like, uh, the guy that Isari brought with him was the one that told Arayumi that Isari was going to go try to do something behind his back. And it's like, did he just not expect like him to do that at all? To take drastic measures because Arayumi is a freaking psychopath and doesn't care about his family at all. Especially if they like potentially try to betray him. It, it was very weird and I don't know why that was a thing that the character did. It was very stupid, but who cares? It's a filler side character that we're never going to see again. Uh, and then Borto learns about it as well. And I guess, like, the Mizukage Chojuro thinks that it was a failed attempt for going after Chojuro, which I guess, but it's like, I don't know. I, I guess it's just the, the way that you want to interpret it. I don't know. It was, it was very weird, I guess. Anyways, that's the episode. It wasn't really anything whatsoever. It was fine, I guess. Uh, I haven't slept yet, and it's early in the morning, so obviously I'm pretty tired. If I sound pretty tired in the video, that's because of the reason why. And I've also kind of had like a really rough week. <clears throat> I've had a really rough. I've had a really rough week, so 
I've been trying to get over all of that and some of the stuff that's been going on in my life, my personal life, obviously. Uh, yeah, I'm not really going to talk about it because it's not really what I need to be doing. Uh, I just need to be focusing on trying to do a, um, do a couple other things and especially trying to make a couple other videos. Uh, go and watch my previous video that I uploaded yesterday. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, you might enjoy it, especially if you're into Street Fighter and Street Fighter 6 that's coming out. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to like. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the next arc because this arc is clearly coming to a close pretty soon. I hope whatever they're going to do next is infinitely more entertaining than what we've been getting for the past, like, four and a half months. I don't know how long we've been having this arc go on. That's besides the point, I guess. Uh, we'll get there when we get there. See you guys next one. I'm out. Peace. Let the